In 2011, Silicon Valley entrepreneur Mark Andreessen wrote that software is eating the world. We see this with music. Software has changed everything, from creating sounds and playing instruments to affordably accessing and listening on a multitude of devices. When we think about recording music, we might think of a digital audio workstation on a laptop in our bedroom, or a massive multi-track mixing console at a large and expensive studio. There are more configurations for recording than ever before. In the early days of recording, it was used to capture live performance and sound as close to live as possible. Recording was prohibitively expensive and artists could rarely afford recording costs themselves, so they needed record labels to access the technology. Labels relied on sales of physical recorded music, like albums, tapes, and CDs, to recoup costs. As technology advanced, recording became an art unto itself, generating a multitude of new forms of musical expression. Soon, live performance began to emulate recordings, and recordings were the listener's primary conception. For a long time, recording music took a special set of skills. It required an understanding of the hardware, the space, the instruments, and artists themselves. Up until software consumed music, not everyone could be a producer or engineer. The transfer of recorded music from physical to digital lowered barriers to entry for musicians and listeners and moved recorded music from a relatively scarce commodity to an abundant and inexpensive media. We still use studios and hardware, but there are also a host of other options that we can set up in our own bedrooms. Digital has not replaced analog, but it has given more options. It's allowed many more people to make and record music and spurred the creation of new styles and genres that it could never existed before. As the costs of recording have decreased, so too has the monetary value of the recording. Before, an album sold for around $10, but today, a stream is worth less than a penny. In the digital age, recorded music can still be a viable source of income, but it's no longer the leading currency. Recorded music is one of the many ways artists build connections with their fans, and it's still vital. But the way it's created and produced needs to be thought of in wider contexts that can include performance, video, community engagement, and other mediums. We might think of playing an instrument, theory, acoustics, or live performance when we think about how we learn music. But today, when we experience music from composition to distribution, across making, recording, Listening and discovering, we invariably engage with software. With digital media and the internet, software is truly eating music.